What's up, YouTube? It's Jeremy PLG, and I'm here with Murder House. And we're gonna get straight into it. I'm not playing the prologue. I'm not, I'm not here for that right now. We're gonna be watching all the cutscenes. Present day, 1988. Can you get a little closer? Like we're here. Ew, this place? I can't believe I went from the news desk to this. <laughs> You're lucky you had this after the incident with the poodle. That could have happened to anyone. All right, let's get started. We don't have all day. Where the hell is the real estate agent? I gave him 50 bucks to let us shoot this story. There's his car. Where the hell is he? Hey, hey it's in the What's your name again? Emma. Emma. Yeah, Emma. Make yourself useful and find us a way in. Incredible. I knew it was going to be the basement window. I'm finna die. To the house. I'm sure it's creepy in here. It sure is creepy. Oh my god. I can't see anything. Work, you got in. Did you see that goddamn real estate agent? No, the house is empty. That bastard. I should have given you the 50 bucks. Facts. Ew, it's musty. Chop, chop, it's time to hustle. Grab all the equipment in the van and get it in there. We're gonna set up. Our work pays off. Tell someone. Tell my man smoking that purple haze over here. 
What are you waiting around for? Turn on those lights and let's get rolling. The power's out. Well, turn it back on. I don't know how. Figure something out. Sheesh. Who was that? I went backwards. Come here, yo. Dang, how big is this house? Yo, I know y'all seen that person down there. Screw it in. Turn the supplies back on. Something inside the dryer. Be with this will be a head. Yeah, it's gonna leave it alone, that's all I mean. It's like, oh. Hey, the power's back on. Let's get started. Alright, good. Everything's set, Tom? Lighting's ready. The camera's rolling. Hey, Gary. I was thinking we could... I don't pay you to think, Dana. <laughs> I pay you to read the goddamn script. <laughs> I hate this job. Don't y'all hate our job. Well, pull it together. Ready, everyone? All right. Action. Anthony Smith, more commonly known as the Easter Ripper. The mere mention of his name sends shivers up the spines of parents across the country. His horrible murder spree leaving lives shattered and families ripped apart. Tonight, we'll go inside his vacant home where 11 innocent children spent their final moments in agonizing pain and terror. Untouched since those horrible crimes eight years ago, some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. I'm Dana that. Turner, and this is a News 9 special report. Silenced tears inside the home of serial killer Anthony Smith. Cut. Let's take a break. Gary, I think I want to redo the line where... This isn't 60 Minutes, Dana. <laughs> it's Channel fucking 9. <laughs> We're not here to win a Pulitzer. Fine. I'm going to find a place in this gross house to fix my makeup. <laughs> Soundtrack is lit. This is a great opportunity for you. Put in a little extra effort and you can really get ahead. If you know what I mean. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Where the hell is Dana? I don't want to wait around all day! <laughs> Where is everybody at? Dirty cut.
something that nobody has reported on. Okay. And maybe we can get hired on a real network. Hey, what are you goofing around for? Set those lights up and let's get rolling. Yo, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. We're putting people to sleep here with this boring story. Time to sex this up. Hey, you. Hmm? Yeah, you. Put this sheet on. Gary, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing <laughs> here? No one's going to want to watch this boring thing. And your dry reporting isn't healthy. I'm reading the teleprompter. People want to see ghosts. Okay, intern. When Dana says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I want you to run through the background. Got it? All right. Let's do this. Yeah, it is. <laughs> After, After Dana says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I need to run through the door. Action! The rampage started in late March 1979, when Smith walked into a local mall and took a seasonal position as an Easter Bunny. A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. Two years later... God damn it! I said one bomb, <laughs> not stand in the shot! <laughs> Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. What was that? Tom, did you get that? I apologize to the viewers at home, but I just felt an energy pass by behind me. <laughs> Let's continue <laughs> Sticky keys the popped up. <laughs> and see what secrets we uncover. But This is rating gold. Let's take a break and pick up in the bedroom. Great timing. I'm going to go use the restroom. Hey you, I'm getting hungry. Take the van and go pick us up some pizzas. Use the station credit card. Bad. Y'all know how long I was looking for that door. Thank you. 